2072. The first complete robot with autonomous intelligence was finally created. After decades of struggle, robot rights finally started being acknowledged around the world. 2114. For the first time in history, the robot party won the elections and changed the name of the city to Root, thus becoming the capital of the robot movement. Shortly after, the attacks on humans began. A few rebel unregistered humans still remain in the city, trying to go unnoticed. 2120. The times are turbulent and the city is a ticking bomb. Both sides have warmongers and pacifists. And in the middle of it all, there's you. Good morning, Noah. It's 7.30 a.m. of a sunny day in the beautiful Republic of Root. Today's maximum temperature is 27 Celsius and the minimum is 24 Celsius. Today we have scheduled the surgeries of the XV-35 and HB-92 models. I remind you that we have no double helix cores left and it would be necessary to place the order as soon as possible. If you're ready to work, move over to the desk right in front of you. On this table you can deposit and collect all the elements of your environment when you need them and take them with you to any area of the workshop. Try to take the folder. Continue to the next point to see the rest of the workshop. like there's a special government bulletin from a few hours ago. Let's watch it. The Prime Minister was holding a press conference for the entire Republic at the opening ceremony for the building that will host the new Ministry of Human Resources. Suddenly, his speech was interrupted by a terrorist attack. You can now watch the images of that moment. We are all here to celebrate the opening of the new Ministry of Human Resources, to make our city route even more safe from those human terrorists. We will not bow against these violence movements. The goal of this new ministry is bringing peace to root by erasing any threat from those humans. Today we are one step closer to... First reports from the city security are assuring that this explosion was an act of terrorism from the human resistance. We will keep you posted. Gosh, I hope the Prime Minister hasn't suffered critical damage. I imagine that as a human you must feel ashamed of these vicious terrorists who attack everyone's liberty. Oh, it looks like you have an incoming call on your wrist pad. Looks like a serious case related to the bombing we just saw. Let's take a look. The first thing we have to do is scan the patient's code. To do this, take the scanner on the table and scan its code. Oh, 
oh, wow, the MK-01 that just arrived is the Prime Minister himself. The responsibility of the job is overwhelming. It looks like we're going to have to postpone the rest of today's agenda. To carry out the surgery, follow the steps indicated on your wrist pad. Excellent. We've already successfully removed the damaged part. Remember, the spare part is stored in the warehouse. The model to be used is the double helix 548. Be very careful not to use the single helix model as that could cause an overload in the Prime Minister's system in the short term.
Excellent work, Noah. Press the accept button to finish the repair and send the Prime Minister back. I'm sure the Root Republic will be proud of the work you've done. The final report from the city security is complete and with no doubt it was an act of terrorism from the humans trying to destroy our city. This ministry is working as fast as possible to locate and pursue all the humans responsible for this cruel act. New laws and rules are being made to assure this will not happen again in our city route. Be very careful not to use the single helix model as that could cause an overload in the Prime Minister's system in the short term. have just tuned in, we remind you that we are in a state of alarm. We advise humans and Awokens to stay in their homes until further notice. Channel 47 has just acquired the footage of the incident during the Prime Minister speech that has taken place just a few minutes ago. First evidence suggests that the Prime Minister's system may have been sabotaged. We warn you that the following video may contain disturbing images. This ministry is working as fast as possible to locate and pursue all the humans responsible.